Hey guys, it's Brian, and today I present to you one of the oddest ceiling fans I've ever found in my ceiling fan collecting career. This is a 52 inch Leslie Lock banana fan. And the reason why we call these banana fans is because of the shape of the vents in the motor, they look like bananas. And you can tell it's a Leslie Lock because it has the baseball bat shaped blades, which is only a Leslie Lock feature. I have never seen any other fan with these shaped blades made by Evergo or Union or Montgomery Wards. Only Leslie Lock have I seen these blades. And Leslie Lock, basically what they did was they got a bunch of fans from Union, Evergo, Montgomery Wards, uh, whatever you want to call it, and rebadged them with their own badge. The company is actually based out of Akron, Ohio, which surprise, surprise, I actually found this at the Akron Habitat for Humanity store last weekend. It was in its hometown, which I thought was kind of cool. This is an antique brass fan, and that light fixture did come on it, but the glass is not original. I put that on there for testing purposes because I've never seen a banana fan with beveled glass, and I always thought that would look cool on here, and I think it does look pretty good. These fans came with all different kinds of motors. But this one specifically has a skeletal motor. It does not have the shaded pole motor that the Hunter Originals do. And by the way, this is a direct copy of the Hunter Original ceiling fan. As you can probably tell, it looks almost identical to one with the exception of the vents and the blade arms. It is not an oil bath fan, although from what I've heard, the shaded pole ones are oil bath. This one is a skeletal motor, which is very similar to an Emerson KB55 or a Lasco motor. And this one has a very unique feature to it, which is the reason why I picked it up, is that it has two pull chains for speed control. And what that does is one chain goes down, the other one goes up, and it turns a wheel inside the pull chain switch that's a variable speed control which I thought was pretty cool. I've always wanted to have one of these fans with that feature. Now I have one. So, it's a unique fan. I've seen these before in uh, locations in Ohio. I uh, can't remember specifically where, but I do remember seeing a few of them out in the real, real world. Um, but the first time I ever saw a banana fan was way back when I first joined the ceiling fan forums on VintageCeilingFans.com and also uh, DT Vintage Fans. And I remember thinking these were so cool looking. And they really are. This is a really great looking fan. It did not come with its original canopy, unfortunately. And I would surmise that antique brass is probably pretty hard to find for these, as I've never actually seen one, even a picture of one. This is the first antique brass banana fan I've ever seen. And I'll put the model number in the description box in the video, and I'll also include a picture of the motor tag. Since I don't have my stepladder nearby, I'm not going to go up there and photograph it. I have a picture of it that I'll put in the end of the video. So anyway, let's go ahead and demo the light kit. I put a single 60 watt LED bulb in just for testing purposes to show you that it works. It does work. And we'll go ahead and start the fan now. When I first give this chain here a pull, it's going to start on high. It'll make a little click and the motor will start on high. Oh, also another thing. This fan has a reversible feature with a very odd looking reverse switch. Never seen that on a fan before, that style of reverse switch. So it is a reversible fan, which is kind of cool. Anyway, let's go ahead and start. We're going to start it on high. And these are known for being very noisy fans. This one is definitely noisy, but it's not obnoxious. It has a little bit of a wobble to it. But I really would rather not mess with the blade brackets on this because I know that these are 
known to break very easily. So, <laughs> yeah, no. Considering how rare these fans are, and especially in antique brass, I would rather not snap a blade arm on this. Moves a hell of a lot of air. I mean, this thing is powerful. Not quite in power to an original, but definitely within a very reasonable uh, closeness to an original. Go ahead and turn it down a little bit. see that as I pull the one chain, the other one comes up. This is like a medium speed on a normal fan. Still moving a pretty strong amount of air. Definitely not something I'd want to sleep with in my bedroom. I'll tell you that. This thing makes a little bit too much noise for my taste. This is like a low speed on a standard ceiling fan, a uh, three-speed fan. Wobbles a little bit more pronounced. And we'll go ahead and put it all the way down. This is what we call restaurant speed the lowest that this fan will go. Definitely has a pronounced hum to it. Still moving up. Good little breeze on the lowest speed. And we'll go ahead and shut it off so we get to pull the other chain. Obviously the bearings make a little bit of noise on this fan, but I bet if you put a little bit of oil in it, It'd run just fine. Still in pretty good condition. I wouldn't say mint condition. It does have a couple little minor scratches on the motor, but really, it's really not bad at all. So, anyway, that's my 52 inch Leslie Lack Banana fan. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Keep watching, more videos to come.